All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. So I know it's been a little bit since we've had a, uh, had a video uploaded on the channel. Um, this past weekend I went to uh, Vintage Fest uh, down at Bar Motorsports, had a great time. Uh, met a lot of cool people and uh, definitely gonna go back next year. But today's focus is we're gonna be installing the, the best and the brightest um, LED lights onto the Honda Monkey for the uh, this is going to be your running lights, turn signals. Um, uh, these are the Rizoma. So these are actually for the front. These are just an actual uh, single function. Um, and then the ones that are going on the back are three functions. Your running lights, your brake lights, uh, and your turn signals. Uh, big shout out to the, to the guys at Man of the Box um, for suggesting these. They, and the other people that I've talked to said that these are definitely the, the best of the best and the brightest when it comes to uh, uh, the lights. Um, not only can you use these on on your monkey, but Rizomas can actually get um, equipped to a bunch of different other bikes. So I've already got the rear section of the bike tore apart. The tail light is already off, and literally we are about to go in and wire wire the rear the rear up now. And it comes with two two of these um, relays. Um, so you don't get like hyper flash so we'll install one in the back and then one on the front as well and then we're going to snip the factory power plug in the back and then we'll use the already existing turn, turn signal wires and then we'll wire them uh, directly up into the uh, Rizoma lights themselves so let's go ahead and get into the uh, get into the video I'm going to get this uh, situated in here just like so and uh, yeah, if you don't know how to take off the rear um, turn signal or the rear you know, brake and turn signal, it's super simple. Um, the footage that I had recorded prior to this showing how to do it, it got messed up and something. So I had to pretty much just uh, restart. But it, it is pretty, pretty straightforward uh, and simple. So let's get on with the install. Make sure you reuse this factory uh, rubber, rubber piece for that. And then in the... In the package for this actual mounting piece, you get three new screws. We're gonna go ahead and screw that up now. And, um, yep, let's do it. All right, got the uh, light all mounted. And then down here, uh, let me see if I can focus it in. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and snip this plug as closest as you can, because we're gonna be using uh, these wires that are in my hand. Now the factory running light plug, uh, we're just gonna move that to the side for now and just use uh, what's right here in my hand. Let's go ahead and Go ahead and snip that off and start stripping. Okay, so for now, I found it was easier to remove the uh, the rear fender so I could get to uh, all these wires and strip them out. So these are your factory turn signal wires. Go ahead and cut those, cut those little, let me see if I can zoom in, cut those little plugs off. And then here on the uh, actual man of the box site, they have exactly how everything needs to be wired up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then uh, put the fender back on and uh, Give a little test run and see if everything is uh, working as it's supposed to. All right, so I had to call in some backup. I absolutely hate wiring. Um, I actually wired the uh, turn signals backwards, but we ended up using two of the resistors that come in the Rizoma plugs. And the wiring diagram for this is on the Man in the Box website. I'll have it linked down below as well. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and flip that over. And we'll show them how. So you got the left, that's extremely bright. Right, no hyper flash, and then the uh, brake light works just like it should. So we're gonna mount everything back up on the rear fender, and then we're gonna move on to the front on um, putting the Rizomas uh, on the front of the bike as well. So definitely appreciated that Connor came and saved me from uh, my wiring, because I absolutely hate it, but we got it done. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to the, the front of the bike. You're going to need to remove a 8 millimeter bolt here, and then you have two 10s that go on uh, to the bracket here. And then we're going to remove the front headlight bezel piece, and that'll allow us to uh, disconnect the actual front headlight. So I've got one disconnected. I'm going to disconnect the other one, remove this bezel, and then unplug these lights and uh, get the bike um, outfitted with the Rizomas. All right, got both turn signals loose. Got the factory headlight plug out. And then you have your two wires right here that you need to undo from these connectors and it'll allow you to get the uh, turn signal out. And then we'll go ahead and start back. Uh, Man of the Box provided us, how many of those? 
new uh, new printed um, plates for the uh, to take over where the factory ones go. So we'll put those in, get the uh, Rizomas um, mounted to the actual plates, and we'll get them wired up, and we'll show you uh, how we did that. Okay, so last night Connor and I got hung up and could not, for the life of us, figure out the. We could get the rear tail lights to work and the rear blinkers and we come up to the front we could get i don't know do you want to help explain what what all we had going on so pretty much what y'all saw in the video yesterday we got the back all buttoned up good to go brake lights worked the flasher relays they all worked and then we moved to the front it's supposed to be a straightforward uh plug and play with using the resistors and that's when everything started going wrong. We had one tail light staying yellow while the other one was red. The blinkers wouldn't work. Uh, we did two resistors in line. We could get it to work and we got everything to work. Blinkers uh, weren't doing hyper flash, but then the tail light wasn't coming on. And then every time you hit the brake, both lights wouldn't turn red. They would just go solid yellow. Uh, so then we came back to the back and proceeded to blow seven fuses trying to figure it out and from my understanding and trying every combination between all man in the boxes wiring diagrams the lights diagrams and youtube uh there is no way on the 2022 model monkey to get everything to work because you have to plug in the brake light sensor to the same wire as the blinker assembly and the tail light and when you do that and you send signal to uh, tell it to turn the red lights on, it doesn't know what to do and it just goes down the easiest path which turns them all just yellow. So like I said, we, I'm telling you, we, we it's tried, a bird's nest. yeah, it's definitely a bird's nest. We tried everything we could. So we figured out we can actually do, we're gonna do without the resistors in the rear. We'll have them up front. I, I'm just over this uh, tail light headlight or not yeah the turn signals uh job and what we got brake lights we're gonna have it hyper flash which is fine like i said we tried every iteration that we could to make this not hyper flash um it just i don't know so we're gonna just live with brake lights and hyper flash uh turn signals okay for some reason and i, I don't 100 percent know why but i think for the, the the um the model year 2021 and below I don't know if there's something different uh, on the wiring portion or not, but like I said, we, between the two of us, Connor and I both have watched several YouTube videos and, you know, they were able to just plug the Rizomas right in, uh, you know, mess with the relay under the tank. Um, and we tried wiring it up even with the, uh, the relays that came with the Rizoma lights, exactly how they had it in the schema three in the book that said for the Honda MX125. And we just couldn't get it all to work unison and together so like i said in the last clip we've got brake lights are working turn signals are working running lights are working but we just decided between last night and today we both accepted the fact that hey hyper flash we're just gonna have to live with it and it's it's not that bad to be uh to be honest with you so we got the uh, rear rear is all done uh now It'd be so funny if we didn't light up. So the rears are done now. I'm gonna get you guys an actual comparison of night time. Let me pull this. The um, the lights themselves are actually extremely extremely bright. Um, like I said, we'll we'll get a nighttime clip going. So uh, all we gotta do is finish buttoning up, finish buttoning up the front, and then uh, put the headlight back in, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and shut the garage just so I can show you guys just how extremely freaking bright these uh, <laughs> Rizomas are. They're definitely the uh, they're definitely the brightest on the market. Left for sure.
All right, so as you guys just saw, the uh, Rizoma, <laughs> the Rizoma lights are extremely bright. Uh, big, th big thank you and big shout out to uh, Man of the Box for suggesting these these awesome Rizoma lights uh, with their custom their custom piece here for the rear of the tail, and then of course the custom piece up here on the front. So if you guys are interested in getting the same set of Rizomas, I'll have a link down in the description as well. And please somebody comment down below and let me know if me and Connor wired something wrong to where, you know, we tried with the resistors, without the resistors. Yeah, it was just, it was just a nightmare. Somebody comment down below and let me know. For some reason uh, on the 22 models, um, if something is different with the rear tail than it is between the 21s and below, because everyone else's video that I watched or talked to about, they're like, yeah, we just wired it up, resistors, boom, no hyper flash or whatever. So, and like I said, we, we spent way too long on this wiring project, but Connor, I know you're watching the video, so thanks, man, uh, for your help. And if you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.